noticed that he doesn't just think these things or feel these things, he says them. It's not enough to just have feelings of regret or to think thoughts of repentance. This son gets up, he goes to his dad, he looks his dad in the eye, and he says, Father, forgive me for what I've done. Repentance isn't a feeling. It's not a fleeting thought that you have because one time you felt kind of bad for something you did. Look at the tone. God, what a different tone this boy has. At first, it was, Father, give me. And now he's here, Father, make me. Father, give me my money. Now it's, Father, just make me like one of your servants. Same language, Father, completely different tone. Father, please. See how there's no excuse offered. There's nothing to justify his sin. His speech doesn't go like this. I'm going to go to my dad and I'm going to explain to him about all my friends who drew me down the wrong path and how, you know, ever since I was a kid, I just never really had the same opportunity. He doesn't make excuses. There's nothing to mitigate this. It's a plain, straight admission of guilt. I'm the sinner, Dad. I blew it. Period. It's not dressed up or sugar-coated at all. One more indication that this is real repentance is the way he follows through. Do you see how he makes a plan in his heart? I will arise, I will go to my father, and this is what I'll say to him. And then we get into verse 20. And what did he do? He arose and went to his father. He did it. How, how would we assess this situation and say if this boy really repented or not? Well, one thing I could point out in his favor is he doesn't just stop at having the right thoughts. He does it. He actually acts on the feelings. He goes and demonstrates the reality of his contrition. He leaves the pig pen and he goes to his father. Now, worldly sorrow can cry and you can express remorse for things you wish you didn't do. Biblical repentance is always demonstrated by a change of direction, a new way of living. Not just feeling bad, but a change of direction. Coming to himself means going to the Father. That's what it means 